So I'm in the Numbers app, and a great way to use the Numbers app is not like it's intended to be used. So if I open up a document there, you can see it opens up by default and gives us that table, which it is a spreadsheet. Um, I, I know that that's the app that we're doing, but a little tip from me, if you're a big brainstormer with your students in the classroom, what you can do is tap on your table itself, delete it, and now you have an infinite canvas. So get out your Apple Pencil or your, uh, your finger to draw, and you can draw forever. So if I go onto my sheet two, just to give you an example, and if I zoom out, you can see that I've got this huge canvas that I can draw and draw and draw. So I can draw right down the bottom, I can do a little squiggle there, I can bring up and do some brainstorming down the bottom here. And all the time, I've got that beautiful, um, design or that canvas that I can actually bring in pictures and do a whole range of other things. And we know that in the Numbers app, it's not just drawing and putting in data in a sheet, but we can also bring in images and layer and videos and a whole range of different things. So a little tip from me, maybe look at numbers a little bit differently and start to look at it at a fantastic whiteboard slash brainstorming app, Paul Hamilton.